mass human strat with trolls or something. That'd be hilarious. Oh yeah, that actually would be really. Fun. All right, we know our build later. It's probably, it's, you need ten units though, because I don't think there's any troll humans. But it oh, sounds damn. really fun. Round I mean, four, Mask of Madness, hype. That that can that item can actually make so many units interesting, like a tusk or something. Yeah. <laughs> you get a Mask of Madness on him, he's just bobbing people. It's, you know. The ten armor, it's a little bit iffy on melees. I I got it on a Morphling once. I had like Morphling with Mask of Madness and maybe a Void Stone. It was so good. Because like yeah. every time you waveform, you disengage, so it's like the armor debuff wasn't even a negative. It was yeah, really, it's kind of really like sick. any assassin, honestly. Uh, like uh, I find Templar Assassin is so good with mask, obviously, and the old mm -hmm. Slark used to be too, because it's just like they have defensive spells. That's a good point. Yeah. Has uh, the lobby popped up yet? Can we join off of Eosin or someone? Oh, sure, I can do that. Not all of us uh, have the bother to go with the uh, the in-game watching. Because then all I think about is stuff two minutes in the past, and it's not going to be helpful. Right. Well, I, I still I need it to cut in between the streams. Well, bring you don't want to show our way. lovely faces? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that'd be even better. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> Brain team getting a really good early lineup. The the fact you got a tiny and an early razor was tiny is definitely one of those heroes that like is super under drafted. So it's it feels nice when you can commit to it like that when you know it's yeah. Yeah, he seems to be a little bit more popular ever since the buffs. Just making him uh, useful now instead of completely worthless. I mean, there were so many games before the toss did damage where it would just lose you the round because he tossed away yeah. like a Luna or something. And, and then like she's at 10% HP, 10 HP yeah. just killing everything. Yeah, that shit's rough, man. I kind of like Eosin opening the, the Sardar. It's, uh, the, hero, the hero does a lot of damage. I know he's like above average damage. And uh, the cooldown is really low on Corrosive, which is pretty yeah. useful, too. It's just not very reliable, and he attacks slow is his big negatives. But The uh, the buff to level to two-unit Naga, though, um, is probably something that makes him a lot better now. What is it, what is it 40% per level or something? I think it's it's 30 and 30 now, where it was okay. 25 20 and, and 35 or 20 and 40. Nah, yeah, it was it was 20 and 40. It was yeah, like, that's what it was. Yeah. So this is one of the places where being a mechanics focus person helps is that you, if you understand dota mechanics you can play auto chess slightly better so the way that magic resistance reduction and magic resistance work is that if uh, you're up against magic resistance reduction like a mage strat and you get magic resistance it massively undercuts the strategy because like for example if i do 100 damage and i have three mages aka what a 30 percent damage bonus then i'll technically do 130 damage but if i have but if I play against somebody that has 30% magic resistance, it essentially lowers the damage of your initial damage. So my 100 damage normally would be reduced yeah. to 70, and then my 70 would be increased by 30%, which is way less. It's like only 21 more damage. So you, so having magic resistance against magic resistance reduction is like a super hard counter. There you go. There the you dope's go. coming in. Looking... I also like when players put like multiple of the same item, like debuff items on the same hero. I always find that funny too. Like two blight stones. Yeah. Oh, like a bunch of robes or whatever. Thinking yeah, they that put like two stacks. robes on the same unit. Yeah, it does not stack. Yeah, can't apply the same debuff. I could see why though, if you unit. didn't really play Dota, but you just came in to play this custom game, why you might assume that two blight stones just yeah. stacks additively. I mean, it, absolutely. It, yeah, and it's a what, small thing, anyways. What about uh, if you have Kaya and Robe? They both work though, right? If it's two different debuffs. Yeah, different debuff. Yeah. It probably works because you can get like Deso with Orb of Venom or with a uh, Blight Stone, for example. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So right now uh, on the Fino cam, seems to be doing pretty well here. The only player still at 100% and a nice so tanky he, front he line. So he did this pretty much last game as well, right? He was like a long-time leader before kind of falling off in the mid-game. Yeah. He's exactly. definitely like really playing his bases, you know? Like he's buying a lot of different things on his board that don't necessarily combo well. I feel like I'm always scared to do this. I like look at what my opening board is. I'm like, okay, here's the things that'll combo well. And I start buying them. But he's like ready to pivot right now if he needs to. Was he the one that got the mask of madness, or was that somebody else? Um, uh, Amaz had the mask. Amaz, yeah. Three. The guy who's currently in last place, actually, believe it or not. I mean, if he doesn't have a good mask hero, that was a really nice. I believe he put it on the Queen of Pain. Yeah, yeah, he did. That's what I would expect. So, yeah, seems decent. He's got a lichen in the front line. That's a lot of plague words. And so it's uh it's only top two out of this, right? 
Correct. You have to get top two to move on. Anything not top two is just straight eliminated. This is really the equivalent of your your lower bracket in a double elimination. You know, the more I think about it, it is kind of fair, though, because basically to not get eliminated, you just had to not get last. And that's not difficult. Only one person gets last place, you know? So, like, you kind of get to live to play on for free, generally. And then from there, you still have to prove yourself. So getting top two after having a bad run proves that you're that you maybe you just had to yeah it's a pretty good format when you're only running four games you know yeah and that's i mean dota chess is or auto chess rather is kind of similar to dota in the sense that there's pretty high variance in how long games can last i mean i've had matches last 55 60 minutes and you know others are over in 35 yeah, yeah. i've never had one get to the roche i guess i just haven't played enough games maybe but i, I think i, I had either. one game where i got to a giant monster was it roche i'm not sure it was, yeah, it was the neutrals the after trolls, I think. It's yeah, just because me and my me, me and my opponent were like consistently killing each other. Like yeah. we would we would always win on offense, but we would never lose. Or, I'm sorry, we would always our beast. offense would always. So, yeah, I think I played a year beast. Maybe year beast is pretty brutal. Is that before rush? Yeah. Okay, I've never been to rush then. I think because you basically have to get to a point where like you, you no you're either like barely losing every round where you only lose like two health. And everyone has a lot of health, so it keeps going. Or you have to just have uh, your your offense always fail, but your defense succeed, kind of a thing. So it's yeah, not... your beast is pretty hype. He's scary. I had to play him before, but I've never made a Sarosh. I was too overwhelmed to like really analyze how scary he was. I was just kind of like, <laughs> uh, uh, buy, recycle. Uh, I'm I'm definitely really bad at late game purchases. I get it takes way too long for me to make decisions. Oh yeah, when I when I first got to Ukraine, I uh. I brought my keyboard and my mouse with me because I wanted to like make sure that if I did any gaming that it wouldn't be off on a laptop, right? But I put them both in my checked luggage. And then when I got to Kiev, uh, I, I basically flew like Alaska on the way to New York. And then I flew Ukraine Airlines. And they there was like a two and a half hour layover, but they didn't communicate and get my bag ready to ship. So I just Uh-oh. lost my lu- my luggage, didn't arrive. And when I got there, I saw a resolution. I was like, oh, hey, hey, man. I talked to him a bit. And he's like, oh, yeah, I just saw a flight. And it was like, if I didn't get on this flight, I, it, there wasn't another flight for two days. So I just I just jumped on the plane. And then as soon as I realized my bag wasn't coming, I was like, I'm not going to get my bag for two days, aren't I? That's what I thought. And that, that's what happened. I put both my mouse and my keyboard in there stupidly. So then I had to play auto chess on a mouse pad for like days. Shit was At least real that's hard. playable, to be fair. It was playable, but it's so hard. It's like if my, if my counter got down to 10 seconds, I had to stop doing anything like putting units in. It was uh, it was very <laughs> frustrating, but I got very good at using the mouse pad and like, and the, the worst part is it was buggier than I feel like, in terms of like clicking, you know. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I go to like buy something, but and then I try to press a hockey, but that doesn't work. I have to reselect my courier first. So then I got all these like habits of like always right clicking after a purchase or some shit like that. You got the uh, the weights on though. Now now that you're back, you know, you're you're gonna be the best auto chess player. <laughs> and You'll it was PSJ. Because my computer isn't fantastic and uh, also internet, so it was a. Uh, it was an it was an uphill battle, but it was fun. Is there a, a resource somewhere that has all the rounds listed out with which creeps come at which numbers? Oh, I'm sure that's pretty straightforward. Twitch chat, but... if you could link what me one. I, I couldn't find one with a quick Google as I tabbed out, but um, yeah, I definitely have some... not gotten to round fifty yet, though. I oh, you mean that. what uh, what neutrals and stuff? Yeah, yeah, just the exact breakdown. I mean, it's fifties Roche, forty five Year Beast, forty is Trolls. Is thirty five? Is that wild the, wild rippers? The wild wings, I think. Or do hell bears? That's what I mean. I can't remember the exact order. That's true. I can't. I can't remember off the top of my head. I guess I usually know when I'm playing because I just base it off the last one. Oh, the dragon. We've got the dragon. Right, the dragons. Yep. In See, there. we That's... we can just we can brainstorm this with the with the <laughs> chat. So thirty five is dragon. Thirty is fur bulgs, I think. Twenty five is the wild wings. And twenty is the what? What's twenty? Yeah, fifteen is the wolves. Oh, oh well, the birds are twenty. The lizard. Oh yeah. Thunder, oh yeah, the thunder, thunder hides are in there. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. Say so there, we don't, figured don't it out, guys. Thunder lizard. We'll get. We'll get. Uh, Dota two soon. Great. Yeah. No, that was way easier than just uh, reading an article. Uh, thanks. Yeah. There you go. Google sucks. Useless. That's some free SEO for one of you Dota guide sites out there. I mean, there's wikis out there already. It's a typical Gamepedia stuff, but. Does a really good job updating. I love having a witch doctor versus most of the neutrals. That's usually a free win because 
or if hexes. you have a witch doctor you probably have troll warlord too who also destroys neutrals yeah ck witch doctor is definitely the best but like hexes ck is pretty good even like tiny toss i think is nice because then they have to spend two leap like time jumping twice to get next to your next unit kind of a thing so right now looking at uh michael udall the current leader our rook two still oh. at 95 percent. look at that hair baby yeah dude he came ready that today blowing He's bringing some style to Dota. Yeah, he's flying up into the sky with that dude. He's ready to play. Yeah, he's way too stylish to play Dota, seriously. <laughs> yeah, no wonder he was in Heroes of the Storm. Now I understand. Let's see, what's he running here? It's like a Doom Razor, some some warrior action. Okay. Damn, I just want to go sub for that massive thing that just came out. 30K club. <laughs> 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 I want to be in the 30K club. It's working on you, you see. He's got he's got a pretty good comp. Like he's like partially he's ready for like a triple mage to own. He's got a Kunkka, he's got a, a Doom. Good I like his comp right now, it's really solid. I don't find myself picking Ogre very often. I find the Bloodlust to be sort of similar to Slardar's spell, where it's like it's obviously useful, but it feels a little sporadic and random and just not a hero that I'd want to count on. Yeah. It's definitely not great to start but like the mages mages really legit there's a lot of good mage units i think i think it's uh it's been buffed and buffed you can even i mean even like razors soup people run razor no matter what anyways if you throw a puck in it's the same thing you can transition to other combos so we... it's true damn it's gonna go for a push for a level up so what's up with this why do, why do you think that was worth it for him he just spent. He just lost like an interest. He spent like fifteen gold or something, twenty gold maybe. Probably has a streak, and he's scared of losing it. Oh yeah, yeah he's he, streaking his, pretty his, hard. Pretty yeah. So he's just dumping in another unit that gives him orc combo, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's just like worry about. it's an insurance it's policy. It's so not worth losing your streak because your streak is three every time, um, and then plus your one for winning. So uh, if you only lose like That's two true. interest, plus you're freeing up more board space, and then he sells to get thirty as well with the win. Okay, yeah, that's pretty that's nice. Smart. Makes sense. Lock items. It's beautiful for auto chess. I think Amaz right now, our, our big underperformer, down to 38%. He is just yeah. getting slapped around. Maybe we need to switch back over and yeah, see what's go going check. on. Let's see what he's doing. He's he's shook from the ban, dude. You know, he, he got his uh, gingerbread Roche and apology, but uh, his Bishop 9 ranking is <laughs> ouch. It's weird to see the gingerbread rush too, because those things are super fucking. All the Roche modifications are super rare. These, yeah. All right, what's he got? That's the wrong person. That's okay though. I thought you were going to Omaz for sure. We're working on it. Like I said, I, I need a transition in between. I'm a little slow. Oh, I see. So you're jumping on Dota TV. My bad. Yeah, I, need, I understand. Yeah, I need a, a a cut source. Eosin with a fat board. Looks like he's having trouble committing. Or at least that is the twos. worst feeling though. When you have like, look, look how many things he is at level two. Or he's two uh, two level ones. Yeah, he's like ready yeah. to make the upgrades. How's this terrible doing? He's got level two. He's got two terror blades currently. One in the bank. So if he gets that to a level two, his he's going to be a lot stronger for sure. I think in the future is that a level one or a level two that we're seeing? Oh, I think that is still a level board. one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's 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 rough. So I do are like are we chalking blade. this one up to a little RNG? Is that what we're saying? I mean, I will say that that is a generally generally a good sign that you're getting screwed by RNG when it looks like this. Yeah. Why does he have his razor so far in the front? What's that? Why is his razor so far in his front? Uh, I don't know. It was a little far up there. It might have been. Oh, it was wolf round. That's why, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Duff. It was. Yeah. So you put the the squishy ones in the front and the melees in the yeah. back, right? It's putting everything on his TV more or less. Because he, I mean, he could, he could shuffle, but it's so low chance. Wow, this is going to be a rough round. Looks like he's fighting up against some trolls here, oh, and B9. these trolls are cutting him down. My word, bloody nine, Damn. living up to his namesake. He's also, uh, he I think right he has one TV. less unit too. I think he's still on six. Yep. Oh my god, getting the early troll warlord. Mm. Oh, it feels Such so good. Such a good feeling. Oh my god, the attack speed is just crippling at these rounds. 
Does he have good level two units other than that though? Like his shaman and I don't think so. I think his shaman was yeah, two and his witch doctor is oh his witch doctor is two as well, yeah. So he's probably in a really good place. I think he had level two bat rider too, so Blade Knight's probably really pleased with what he's yeah. Honestly, the worst part about trolls is Bat Rider. Kind of. That that's like another unit where if you get a void stone, it can be really good actually. He just feels so terrible. He kind it's of like is, I, I guess but... the problem is that like when you're running the four trolls is that Bat Rider's like only kind of like half a tank, you know? Like he's kind of beefy, but at the same time you also want him to survive a really long time so the napalm does something. But then you have essentially three other trolls that also don't want to be in the front line. Well, but the fact that he's a knight helps because you only need one other knight to get the bonus. You know, like mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. But even then, it's still just kind of questionable. And he's a little underbuilt too, so I think he's not too difficult to get the level three as well. And it's so low cost that it doesn't like eat up all of your economy board. Like sitting him on your bench for like five rounds with like a level two and maybe a one level one. You know, it's like four gold. Yeah. It's not a big deal to like. So the only thing is that it, it takes up space though, so it's hard to roll yeah. for anything else. That's true. The space aspect is can't get around that because he's just like so bad. <laughs> Do you guys favor Wind Ranger at all when you're trying to run hunters? I personally Definitely. didn't, but I'm seeing a lot of the streamers go for her, so I guess um, they seem to appreciate her a little more. I've noticed a couple streamers get her and then add a couple items onto her, and she does look a lot better at getting the uh, mm -hmm. the power shot off. I don't think her attack speed is terrible. Um, her damage is good, and power shot is like a mini coddle kind of. I think she's she's perfectly legit okay what's uh yeah. what's Amaz going for here combo wise he's got kind of a lot of weird units i feel like uh he's going orcs he's got all four so he's got the the big hp buff helping out even though they're like only level one jug he survives pretty long but he got b9 again oh no and then yeah. see this is the thing about trolls that is underappreciated is that even if like sf i guess is like the best unit to go with trolls because he fits both the attack damage as well as the um like gaining mana faster but there's so many units that just by having the troll synergy, it lets them get their mana so much faster, and then they get off their mm. spells. So like you might not think Caudal's really good, but then you have a Caudal with it, and he just attacks really fast, gets his mana up, and then blasts. Yeah, it is a weird mixture that he's got here, though. The Disruptor, you like having the AOE, but not much synergy. There's no other undead to match the Necro. And is that a lone druid that he's got there with no real synergy elsewhere? Yeah, but Lone Druid's a pretty stable. Although I'm, I'm not sure why it's in the back line. I don't ever find that my Lone Druid dies before getting off the bear. Maybe because his front line they're just stronger. They all have Orc and yeah. does he have Warrior? He doesn't have Warrior. I guess there's no point yeah. really like putting it um, any further up. Shouldn't he get a third Warrior though? Am I am I, am I mistaken? He doesn't have a third Warrior. He just has two. No, his axe and his troll had, had uh -oh. armor bonus. They would be and so his... much stronger. Uh -oh. His necrophone. Oh. Amaz in trouble, though. Fino going to roll through him with so many units still alive. That's going to take Amaz down to 6%. He could very well be the first eliminated here in this lower round. I really think he needs another warrior. I think the Necro isn't doing anything for him. Like, heal is nice and all, but oh, yeah, he's not. He needs a you need health increase and armor. You need a HP and survivability. He finally got his TB. I can relate to this. I, I think TB is my favorite unit, personally. Um, and really? if you don't get the upgrade, even yeah, I I, I think he's fun. I don't think he's the best unit, but I I really like playing him. I see. Just because he he's like a he's like an easier to run dragon knight. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty sick when he uh, takes damage and then he sunders like your Luna or something, and she's not taking any damage. Like I, I like running terribly and Luna a lot together. Has Sunder always been in there? No, or Sunder got added pretty it's recently. Like recent, right? Yeah. Right. On the Hellbear round here, round twenty. So we're going to stay on Amaz for now and see what he does in this next round, as this, this could be his elimination, and then uh, we'll start moving around again. This Necrophos just feels awful. Am I missing something? Yeah, like, awful. He doesn't have Warlock bonus, right? And he doesn't have Undead bonus. Correct. He doesn't have armor to make like, any heals that he has better. He needs either the, the, the Beastmaster to be a different warrior tank, or he needs uh, to swap out the Necro. Got a lot of Terra Blades here. That's I guess nice the, thing. the problem is, like, what else? I, I'd rather have the Terror Blade in than the Necropos, honestly. He's trying to go for the major role. Oh, oh yeah, he's going to put in the TV. Oh, that's so sick. That's actually going to be really okay. awesome. Spreads the TV. He's going to be on opposite sides. I, I really hope he lives because I, I want to see a level 3 TV some more. That's just so fun. Oof, man. He's in trouble, though. 
This is going to be a big round. He's up against Bloody Nine again, but this time he's got a slightly better spread against the Trolls. He's doing some pretty solid damage, but there's the Requiem off in the back line. I still think this could be okay for Amaz. Finally, the ultimate from the Disruptor comes. Jug trying to finish off the Witch Doctor. He'll get him there. The Shadow Fiend falls. This is going to be a really close one. Abaddon, though, chopping away at the Lone Druid. There's the bear, and that will be indeed enough to secure Amaz a survival. That's Whoa. big. And B9 lost his streak as well, it looks like, to Language Hacker. Vengeance. Oh, no, he had already lost his streak at that point, it seems. That wasn't even, like, an ideal circumstance for Amaz, either. Like, his Terror Blade that had all the items was far left and had to do all this jumping just to get into the battle, so it got there really See someone in chat mentioning that if you just watch Omaz, he seems to just value the Necro very highly, kind of in general. Which is fine, but it just got nerfed number one. And if he just had a fucking warrior in the battle, he would be winning these fights for sure. Because he's got good levels on all of his units, but his frontline is dying too fast. I mean, they've got a free, like, what, like 550 health on all of his frontliners? Like, get some of an armor on that shit. That's, like, oh insane God. survivability increase. I think this might be the end of him. JJ is doing a lot of damage, but the Terror Blade goes off. Maybe not. It's going to swing back the other way. This TB is still at 100%. He'll finish off the bear. And Amaz stays alive again. Man, playing with fire here in these rounds. Playable. It just does so much damage, dude. It really does. Look at 200 DPS from that Terror Blade. Yeah. It's, it's so fun. TB? I love it. I don't like playing terribly in regular Dota, but I fucking love it in auto chess. <laughs> oh. Man, I really hope he sells his Beastmaster, though. I, I'm sure Druid it's a detriment. Uh, oh, he's got Ench, too, so he's got level 3 Druid. Hype. That's Sick. something. He's he's so much stronger now, all of a sudden. So and where with the is oh, level 2? Yeah, he is round. way stronger now. Holy I think he should be all right for another round or two. Eocene going to be the one that could be in trouble, but now he's going to be up against Michael Udall, number one right now, still at 89%. Amaz oh, holding on. Razor. His front line getting low, though, and the techie's mind goes off. Amaz is not going to be able to win this one, at least not easily. It's a two-on-one. The Terror Blade will fall. Still alive, only takes a minus two. <laughs> that was really scary, though, because like that initial magic burst, it had done a little more damage. He could have lost Ooh. those TBs. He almost won that one, too. It was really yeah, close. Without Bear, too. That's going to be so almost impossible for him to win this game. I, I can't look at this Necrophos anymore. It actually has fucked this whole game, for sure. If that was like, also a warrior. If that if that was just literally a Slardar, anything. Literally a level 1 warrior. It was, his, his whole comp would have been completely different. Or that Troll and, Warlord. And he's, Yeah, he's passed them up. Like he needs, he just needs to put a warrior in. Put that doom in. Uh, yeah. Can he just put doom in? Am I crazy? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The the solo necro is garbage. I don't know why he's putting it in. It did seven DPS, even if it got a heal off. I mean, is it doesn't oh. even get heals off though, because it like it barely it attacks. Yeah. I, I I do think sometimes though, well, at least I notice this happening in myself, is sometimes when I'm like this close to losing, I just don't look at, I just don't notice things like this i'm too like focused on like oh if i just get this upgraded it's yeah. all going to be fine and then i don't pay attention to the fact that necro does no damage that it doesn't combo it's hard to like keep track of all these things because we're not having to press hotkeys and like look at scoreboards and shit there's just so much less upkeep mentally that you have to do when you're uh, not playing it would kill it's the spell blood though as twitch chat is pointing out if he pops into doom I'm sorry, what what would what's the issue? This isn't uh, Terra Blade already a demon, so you have two demons if you bring the Doom in. Oh yeah, because he's a demon sure. and a demon hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That, but it, I still agree true. with any literally any warrior. Any warrior, yeah. That, like like that and then got off two heals. <laughs> yeah. It got two heals and it did eight DPS. Yeah, that's not great. That's basically like he was winning, so it kept healing his team. Yeah, why would you pass up Kunkka in this situation? Isn't that AoE like really good with the kind of setup he has here? Another warrior. I mean, um, I can see how like because those warriors are all are all getting like two two heals off, so I, I can see how he he looks like the value. Maybe from our perspective, it just looks bad, but maybe he's played like he's obviously played a fuck ton of auto chess. This guy plays a lot. Yeah. So if true. he he may have just seen this heal value before. It's definitely the heal value is definitely really good, but I, I th but if you have two level two warriors frontlining, I just don't think it's that that two warriors, two level two warriors that have 
both levels of orc buff. There's no way that the armor bonus isn't stupid value. Yeah, yeah, I don't. It's, I don't it's, disagree. it's probably equivalent to having an extra piece's worth of health without a I doubt. I wonder if he's thinking about bringing this uh, neck, this Veno in at all, because he's got the double one, and then he'd have beast buff and warlock buff to maybe add into a third unit later. But it looks like he's saying nay. He probably feels pretty strong right now. So maybe he doesn't. I guess he's ecoing for now. Is, uh, how's uh, Eos Eosin's really close to losing here? Looks like he's I not mean, stabilizing. So Amaz. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but Amaz, right. Amaz leveled up so much more recently. Yeah, he's he stabilizing. Level, he got the Lone Druid. He got the Disruptor upgrades. He's, he's going to win this better. round too. Brain TM currently in second. Oh, that, that heal. And Eosin's going to actually be the first one knocked out here. Once again, round Dota players, last place. So here we can uh, jump back in time, uh, go in the client, sort of look at Eosin's build right before elimination, and I think we might switch over to one of these other streamers. Yeah, who do we got? We got like brains up top there. I was gonna hop. I'm on down with anyone, anyone, Andrew. Take me away. Eosin has a uh, kind of a weird strat. He's got like well had <laughs> warriors. <laughs> Knights like part warrior, part orc, part knight. He does so have three he, hunters. Uh... He's got a drow with a crystalis and a mask of madness. But oh, I'm yeah. looking at his, his board now. Is or is uh his what's what's it called the waiting area for, or for heroes? There's a lot. I wonder. So he put some lone druids back in the pool. It looks like obviously um some dragons back in the pool with his death. Can you move your camera down just a little bit, uh Andrew? Because I want to see what he's building. Was building. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He's fucking dead already. He's, he's got no money. Yeah, he's just trying to buy time. He just doesn't have any combos. It's like he's he's got a level two Dragonite, but oh, he was trying to get a level three Lone Druid. I don't think he ever got there either. No, it's too bad. All right, over to the Fino Cam. Currently in second place. Remember, this is top two. This is our lower bracket round. After this, will be the final round, the final eight, and that's where. We will separate the losers from the winners for the cash prize. Everyone else not top two here is eliminated. So what do we got here? We got uh, another Necrophos. See, they, they've got the strats guys. Now, obviously, this is a Warlock Necrophos, so it has some value here with the Shadow Demon. Or sorry, the Shadow Fiend and the uh, Venomancer. Skipping up on the Troll Warlord. Just sold his uh, Enchantress. Sniper so in the he back line. doesn't have much of an economy. Though. He's down to 11 gold. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I see that exorcism going crazy, and it looks like it's just cutting through his entire board. That was pretty brutal. I think what, what you should do in tournaments like this is, like, if you know that your board is about to run out of steam, then you just need to spend as much money as you can to, like, elongate. Because if he gets stronger right now, it's going to help kill other people faster. And that means he has a better chance of nailing top two. Because I, I don't know if his, it's kind of hard for me to read boards sometimes about like where they're going to go in the future. But if we don't feel like he's going to get much stronger in this game, he needs to like do economic damage and try to squeeze out a two, a second place. Yeah, he just got his uh, level two Necrophos up. And that'll certainly help. But um, his main damage dealer is the SF and then the Sniper. And he has triple hunt. Oh, wait, does he not have triple hunter? Losing his board. Is there a Beastmaster up there? Yeah, there is. Okay, he so does. he's Triple Hunter. It's a level one Beastmaster. Ouch. He's close to upgrading it, but... Yeah. He's probably been stuck for a while, though. And that's not going to be a great round for him. This one is surprisingly close, lost. aside from uh, Michael up there. He's been number one pretty much the entire match. Jeez. Oh, he man, he's getting chunked. Oh, he's bleeding hard right now. Yeah. His, uh, the, it was kind of... I thought... Uh, brain's li like placement looked bad, kind of, because it was just all a flat line at the back. But it really does. It's kind of cool in the same vein because it makes uh, everybody's oh. like the AOE is just going to be bad, right? Because it's a line across the back. So unless your like AOE heroes are front center on the aggressive side, like they're not going to hit all the units. Yeah. They'll just, catch a just got creamed. Oh, he's out. Day. Yep. Maz has mm -hmm. done so. Where are you taking us now, Andrew? Uh, I was going to hop over to Brain, see what we got over there. Right now we're looking at Michael like Udall in the past. Uh, he took some damage there, and then I think he streaks back the other way. But uh, here we no, go. Brain bomb. TM. Oh. See what we got. It's got two techies, though. 
Ooh. Two Shadow Fiends here for Brain and a Dragon Knight in that back line. Yeah, this is the placement I was referring to. It looked really, it looks really weird, but he's got so many right clickers and he's got so many AOE heroes that it just forces, and they're all ranged, so it forces your opponents to jump like once or twice just oh, to get in range is, of you. This is interesting. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what his setup is. Double SF, double Lena, both level two, and then dragons. So you got a puck, viper, and dragon knight there. So. Is, and his third mage is a wow. This is this is like essentially no tanks, right? When you think about your traditional yeah. auto chess, yeah. He's now just chucking out his tiny. I mean, your your dragon knight's like the closest thing you got, but you can see the positioning in the far back corner. He's your damage dealer. Perhaps another. So viper. that explains why there's space like this, right? Because he's trying to like spread them out as much as he can, so that uh, they just they're, they're only they're getting like, one source of damage. Yeah, they're they're basically if they're all in the back line. And like if somebody has a melee hero out in front, the melee hero will jump and then all of his units will stand still basically. So they won't get surrounded by like multiple assassins and the AOE won't be maximized. It's oh, cool. Oh shit. He oh, got didn't work that time. And yeah. the silence. That Ooh, Super two. JJ also got crippled elsewhere. So now Fino and JJ both at 2%. Meanwhile, Michael's still slaying it. He, got, he 6 0 the board that was against him too. So he stays like he's doubling up over brain right now. Remember, you need top two to make it out of this match. So this is la this next couple of rounds are huge. We could see any of these five players, except for Michael Udall again. I'm going to stay on Brain here. Brain versus Bloody Nine also going to be pretty tight. Gets rid of the, uh, we'll gets rid of the uh, Tiny because then he gets two, two level two Razors, which is pretty good. This is one of the negatives about this line or about the spacing is with Razors, though, because those are, those are units that kind of want to be forward central. So you can get my and, and the AOE I think just got Ooh. decreased. I a believe. lot of damage. All right, it's against Bloody Nine and Brain not gonna be able to do it. The exorcism does so much damage from B9 there. I wish he uh, we could see his DPS on that. That was he gets it off so fast too because of the troll synergy again. Yeah. That, that's one problem with the DP is that uh you, you obviously want it off as soon as possible because you need the heal back. And she's level two, and they have Undyne, at least level one, because he has an abaddon and uh and a DP, or undead, so. yeah. Or undead, yeah. So they have minus four armor. Well, he <laughs> needs two more Linas. Uh, he's thinking about swapping out one of his mages for the Lich. So after this round, I'm going to try to switch to Bloody Nine, I think. He's going to put Enigma in? Okay. We'll see what happens so after this took round, out one though. Of the Linas. Yeah, I was going to say, play some items. Like, this Enigma is going to die in the front there. Yeah. He he knows he's on a desperate territory here, but he got the top guy, Michael. No big silence to start this time, but oh my god, that bomb! Oh, jeez! <laughs> he like lowered his like his his <laughs> unit purchase, and all of a sudden I saw this big ass green bomb on the t on the board. I was like, oh shit, dude, this is not. Oh, if you guys well. ever get blink dagger and you're like, holy shit, blink dagger so useless. Put it on a techies. That yeah. is the dream. I really like it on Sand King too, actually. I tried it on Sand King because then you blink back line. It's a pretty tanky hero. It's got 10 armor. And then once you get 100 mana, you burrow strike away from the enemy team. So you usually survive yeah. while burrow striking through their back line to their front line. It's really good on him too. But definitely techies as well. Techies is a big one. Well, I switched to the uh, Bloody Nine stream just as he was eliminated, it looks like. Excellent. Yep, it looks like it. So he came fourth. As he's now spectating. So at least he's helping us out. Super JJ versus uh, Michael here. And oh, looking pretty that's good it. for Super, Super JJ. JJ. My God, he was low. Jeez. Wow. 2%. Literally, one, any other time in the whole game, if he took one more unit's worth of damage, he wouldn't have gotten top two. Uh, brain with the Johns. The Got Michael twice in a row at the end. Lol. I, mean, I died from 19%. <laughs> that, is, that is harsh. That Jeez. that I hate when that happens, dude. You're like, oh, I'm going to play a couple more rounds. You just have one really bad round. Yeah, he might have had a lot of gold, too. Looks like he only had five, though. So I'm going to try to that pull up uh, cool the stuff. Michael stream real quick. Before it's over. Yes, indeed. A little slow here. Okay. 
<laughs> a Moz without cheats. <laughs> with a what? A Moz without cheats. That's pretty funny because <laughs> he got you know banned by the hackers, <laughs> and then he came second last year both times after his reinstatement. <laughs> oh, nice! Oh, he tied the dragon. Really All right. Well, either way, here playing for some consolation, uh, but it is going to be Michael Udall as well as Super JJ that make it to our grand final bracket. We'll see who actually takes first place here. Currently watching the Michael stream. Did he do his math wrong? Oh no, he had just enough. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to hit level ten. I don't. I don't. Most of the time, I have no idea how people are rearranging their pieces in moments like this. It seems like the arc is a, a pretty safe bet, all things equal. Is it going to work for him here, though? That Static it... Storm did a lot. There's a Techies mine down. A lot of damage going both ways. Huge AoE. Some Stone Gaze. The whole board stops fighting, but it doesn't look like he'll be able to do it. It's so close. It's a two-on-one, but Razor, he's there, and Super JJ will be knocked down. It's going to be Michael Udall who takes first place in our lower bracket matchup. And there you go, the final standings with one more round to go. That was a good match. Very close across the board. Um, I mean, there was like, what, four or five people that were all yeah. within loser round mm -hmm. towards the end. Deserved five candies, I would say, for the victory there. That's good. That's good. Random okay. more players. So, guys, we've got one round left. And uh, we're going to cut to our little overlay here again. Where are we at? There it is. So we are now in the finals. One round left, and this is where the placing will come. First place is going to take home some money. Second place, a little bit less. We're going to have Bulldog, Swim, Tides of Time, BSJ, Crane, I Annihilate, Super JJ, and Michael Udall as our top eight finalists. Okay. Woo! All right. Prediction. Will BSJ or Bulldog be able to defend Dota's honor? Or I and I like that matter too, I suppose. Or Tides of Time will count him because he used to be a Dota pro. <laughs> we're, we're gonna he's got a foot in each camp there. He I don't know. On... Dude. He's, he's been a little heavier in the other Yo, camps for a while. What, whatever. He, he was on bottom bottom at TI3 when they were the best team in the world that wasn't playing at TI. Okay. So there. Sounds good. All right. So one more round to look forward to. We're going to give these guys uh, a couple minutes to reset, and then uh, we're going to get into it. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then when we come back – 